Okay, here we go. Wasteland 3. Okay, this is uh we're gonna be starting a new game today. Uh disclaimer, I I played Wasteland 2 and I didn't like it. I didn't play it for very long. Admittedly, but it didn't grab me. The slow start to the game and which was a shame because it's got everything that I should like. Open world RPG with turn based combat. Okay, but I didn't like it. When this came out I thought I'll give it a go. New release 2020. I'm not losing anything. I've got this from my Xbox Game Pass PC account for free. So I'm giving it another shot. I've already jumped into the game, as you can see. Uh, that's why I've got the continue option, just to make sure that I like the feel of it. So I've done character creation on it, and I have played the first little combat um, section. I walked about a little bit just to see that I liked it, and I did. So we're going to jump into a new game and uh, kick off kick off this series. The difficulty we're going for waste wastelander, nothing special. I'm not nothing special at these games. Um, we're playing through it for for fun. I'm not looking to get obliterated, so we're going to keep that. As it is, custom settings doesn't have anything in it other than friendly fire on or off. We're going to keep it off for this run through and uh, just go through it. So yeah, so I've already seen the opening sequence and things, so I'll, but I'll let that run through and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it was, I was impressed by the opening sequence, a lot different to the Wasteland 2. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. road lately but that's the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting 
the Rangers never stop fighting. Yeah, so really cool opening cinematic. I like that a lot. Puts us straight into uh, a battle. First character creation. I did think about just going with some of these. I looked through them uh, when I when I jumped into it before. Uh, some of them seem pretty cool, but it's uh, it's a bit of a boring option. So we'll we're going to create custom ones. Already have it in my head what I'm kind of want to do. Um, this guy is uh, it's a lot. Make sure I spell that right. And he is going Shoot. to be. Shoot! This us. He's going to be they like they my. Are you? Uh, Damn. New targets in. New targets incoming. He's like my. Uh, uh -oh. Leader. Here comes the pain for it. They've sp uh -oh. They see us. I think we'll go with ice. Ice voice. Background. Um, I can't remember what I set for this. I'm not too sure how much of a difference these make. I think these are only buffs. Um, lethal weapon. Fire damage. Vader hit a bonus damage to humans. Pretty good one. Um, we could get a free hard ass point there. I don't really want him to be like that though. Some of the stats that I'm going to give might not be necessarily the best stats to give, but just give a bit more of a role playing feature to the game. Um, I think we'll go with Raider Hater. Honest damage to humans. Um, appearance. Okay, this guy, I want him to be. He's quite big. He's tall. He's, uh. <laughs> I loved that <laughs> when I first seen it. <laughs> we're, having, we're having a compact character. He's next, he's next. So this is the little twos, and this is the big guy. This is. He's, um. He's the go to guy. Lancelot. He's the muscle. Um, pretty happy with the standard face, really. Uh, I think I didn't put a helmet on him for, but I think he's gonna have a helmet this time, actually. But we'll put his um, put some hair on anyway. Um, and I want that to be grey. I want that to be grey hair. Yeah, beard, no beard. Uh, yeah, no. No beard, clean shaven. But I think he's going to have a helmet on anyway, to be honest. Um, maybe not, though. I didn't look through these properly last time. Maybe not actually. He just doesn't look very tough, does he? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll go with something like that. Like that. Let's see what jackets can go with that. No, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I think we'll just go with that then. Jacket, I like the um, kind of westerny style stuff. And this is what we put on him last time. I want him to be like kind of a sheriff figure. Don't know if them chaps are a bit much like <laughs> Ranger gunslinger pants. Ranger heavy. And we'll 
go with them ones. We'll go with the heavies. They look cool. Them to be green, like kind of army colours. Um, yeah, that's cool. Physique, we did portrait. This is the annoying thing. Cause the portraits don't match the character that I've just made. So I don't. Is anyone with a cowboy hat on, maybe? Hmm, long skin colour. For this character. Um. So what do we do? Maybe we should put it like this. And that's him in his younger years. <laughs> Maybe this. Hmm. We give him. A, we could give him a beard, couldn't we? We do that and give him a beard, just so he matches a little bit. Let's give him a goatee, and then he can have... Oh, that still doesn't match, does it? This does my head in. Let's give him a beard. So it matches. Yeah, okay. That matches a bit better, doesn't it? Although that beard's awful, what's happened to his top lip? Character creation went much smoother last time. I'll uh, we'll do that. I'll do. Yep, okay. Fuck. Um. Even see how we've done that. Why is it saying we haven't? Not selecting it, look. It did this to me the first time actually, I ended up with a default. Okay, it's done it. God knows what we've got there. Uh it's gonna start with assault rifle. Attributes, okay, I'm going to put one in coordination because that gives you action points. Like I said, I don't under, I haven't played the game or the franchise before, so some of these I don't really know. Like perception, I don't know what that's going to do for us. Con, I don't know what con is. Um, combat speed, evasion, initiative. Charisma, put up strike rate, leadership range. I think leadership gives you buffs to the people around you. That's what he's kind of going to be doing, so... We'll give him coordination for some action points. Um, awareness for hit chance, charisma for leadership range. And... Um... Intelligence, put intelligence up. Since he's the leader. Right, attributes. Uh, da, da, da. Again, don't know don't know the strength in some of them, so I might be making mistakes here in the initial setup of characters. But we can only try and learn. So coordination, max action points mark. That's what we just did, isn't it? Can we not just do that? We just did that, why is that not ticked? Oh, we still got two points to spend. Oh, okay. Um. Tell you what, we'll make him a bit lucky and then give him another coordination. Done. Skills. Automatic weapons, yep. Um. 
you leadership yep and then I don't really know how much I'm gonna need stuff like this first stage might be a decent one to give him I'm thinking for the start off just put another one in automatic weapons and then um I don't know whether it's best to have everyone with a bit of first aid or have a dedicated like healer in your party. I don't know. But for now we'll just we'll keep it pretty simple for now and see what we come across. What do explosives do? Disarm landmines and traps. Explosive resistance. Hmm. How about we... Yeah, how about we do that? We can deal with explosives. Now, quirks. Yeah, these give a buff. Um, but they can also give a penalty. So, let's see... I did give him one when I jumped into it before, but I can't remember what it was. Um, waste Roma. Resistance to bleeding. Resistance to shock. Resistance to everything. But get an experience bonus. Negative. Um, ba ba ba. Gain three action points for each kill in combat once per turn. Leadership has no benefits on you. Death wish. He's actually changed the look of you guys. Um, I think I gave him bot bag actually to give him the armor. But I think I'm going to give that to my next character because he's my melee character so it was probably better off that he had that so I need him to tank some shots. Um, go with this. Make him resistance. It's a bit rubbish because we lose 15% experience bonus but see how it goes. Like I say I might be making mistakes here but... So... Hawk. Identification. Tivian. Shoot! They saw we can handle this, right? Spot. Get ready. Uh, you crazy? You want? Damn, shit just got real. Yeah, Joker. His background is D D D D. Hmm. Da da. I think we're gonna go with um. He is gonna be a melee fighter mainly. I think we'll go with a uh, lethal weapon. Although that doesn't really fit his story much because he's not going to be more of a support character. Mm, I might change this character actually because I had in my head that <coughs> he's a melee but it doesn't really make much sense in his story because I want him to be the intelligent one who does has the sneaky characteristics and does the lock picking and things. So I might change my direction here. Go with Desert Cat for perception. Appearance. Got compact. But tall. Yeah. Tall compact. <laughs> this. He's Tibian, so he's got a scarred up face. Uh, oops. Uh, what kind of head did Tyrion have? I 
like a curly sort of mullety type thing, not not that. A bit like that. Probably as close as we're gonna get. I know it's super original of me to call my compact character Tyrion. He's got a beard. And it is gold and yellow. No helmet, jacket. Yeah, he didn't like the cold. He's got all his winter wear on. Armour colour. Hey, he's Lannister red, isn't he? Gotta be. Physique, we've done that. Portrait, there's gotta be somebody with a scarred face. That's the only scarred face we've got. Look at that. Oh, right, starting weapon, yeah, so he was going to be my melee character, but I don't know. I'm not that keen on melee characters, you know. So, it'd be nice if we could have him with a crossbow. But I think we might replace that and give him the pump shotgun. The modern day crossbow, right? So, we're going to go pump shotgun with him. Attributes. Uh, charisma, yep. Intelligence, yes. Speed and strength, no. Awareness, yes. Look, definitely. Coordination. Another one in luck, because he was a lucky man. Skills. Fighting is not going to be a strong point. First aid. Sneaky shit. Lock picking. And kiss ass. Two in kiss ass. So he should be able to talk his way out of stuff, I think. That is. And then his quirk. He's got to have a quirk, hasn't he? I think. Hmm, yeah. Put his armor up. Death wish, no. Fire damage bonus, serial killer. I think I'm going to give him... I don't know what combat speed does. Is that... Does high combat speed increase the chance of you, like... Dodging shots, or does it improve how far you can travel in combat? We're going to give him armor, so I want him to be able to tank some shots if he's a smart support guy. I want him to be able to sort of dot around and heal people. So there they are, Lancelot and Tyrion. Ready to save the day. Let's go. Okay, so like I say, I am. Um, I've already played through this once. I'll just let these guys finish. Being so loud. This is for song. Yeah, so I, I dropped into this to make sure I kind of liked the feel of the combat, and I did because this is much more XCOM like than I felt the Wastelands 2 was where you had the order of um the like the sequence that people went in. The, in in this we take our turn and they all take their turn which I prefer. Um so yeah this is just telling me how to attack. But I like it, I like what I like that this does over XCOM is it's, and um what was the other game that I played that did this? Um, oh, I can't remember, it'll come back to me, but you get 
a lot of action points and you can spend them in any order you want so shooting just ends your turn um, you know you can do things in any order you want you can run shoot and then run back if you want uh, I like that take this guy out first it's pretty straightforward action obviously just trying to tell you about things like that action points um, I can take another shot with this guy. Which I'll do. And then Tyrion. Okay, so when I played it before, I, d I didn't have the um, shotgun attached to Tyrion. I had him as a melee fire, but like I said, I don't really like melee. This, I really like the fact that it colour codes the floor and fire. So during combat your rangers may need to take cover, change attack positions, blue spaces are areas that your rangers can move with with enough action points left to attack. So I like that, that's really clear. Um, orange spaces are the maximum movement range and the red target preview lines shows who they'll be able to hit from that location. Yeah, so this shows me, I'm in blue, so I'll still be able to fire my weapon and I'll have that percentage chance of hitting those three guys. So I'll do that, I'll move there. And then with the shotgun, this is pretty cool, so it's got a cone effect. So I'm glad I chose a shotgun for this guy. For Tyrion. There's only three action points too. I missed the guy I was aiming at, but hit the two at the side. It was at this point before that it became apparent we are destined to lose this fight. Come on, you piece of... There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. I don't think there's going to be many survivors. Loving this uh, shotgun action. Um... So I've got eight action points, which means I can just shoot twice if I want to shoot from here. Should be able to take this guy out. Took a shot at him. Boom. Out of ammo. Oh shit. So I'm just assuming we don't have any spare ammo for this gun. Oh fuck, that weapon's out of ammo for now. You can try equipping different weapons. We don't have any other weapons. Right, okay. So that's a bit rubbish, because now Tyrion could just only punch people in their heads. We'll just defend with him then. Okay, so we have this big boy. Vehicle turret online. Let's select him. And shoot the fuck out of that. Good night. Yeah, so. Out of range to do that. I'm gonna have to reload that weapon. And then we'll defend. You know, he's probably gonna get flanked. Can we punch this guy in the head? No, we don't have enough range. So that would take five. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna move here. And. Set up that so if he comes to us, we'll punch him in the head. Through this, 
We gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Got it. Understood, Major. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. There's no going back. All right, move out. Let's do it. So we need to find some shotgun shells. He's not a lot of use to me right now. <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run! Come on, cousins! Don't let them scatter! Keep them together while so I reload I'll... the rocket gun! Oh, man, I love this thing! I like thing. this loot. Uh, wait, just the area loot. So we don't have to go around every single one. We're not going to miss anything. Uh, I'd already done this point. It's not much further. I didn't go much further than this when I first checked it out. And um, literally just walked up here. I'm a bit worried now, though, that I've given Tyrion a shotgun. I don't know how scarce I'm always going to be. Are you lost? In the blood. Yeah, I got to this guy. Group versus individual selection. Yep. So control single character. We can check out the corpses. There's powder burns on this ranger's jacket. They were shot at point blank range. So, I didn't do this before. You can, you can crouch and then shoot, and that improves your hit chance. But I like that you can shoot out of um, combat like that. Energy cells and a bit of ammunition. Yeah, right. This is. Did I go further than this? I may have gone a bit further than this. I saw that guy get blown up last time. And then I think there's somebody up here. And then that's where I turned it off because I thought, yeah, I'm liking the feeling of this game. Um. Yeah, so you can press shift and it highlights everything that you can interact with. Come in here, set this. Are here. Okay, Hotlanders, drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? So, this is what Tyrion's supposed to be good for talking his way out of stuff, so we'll give him a test here. Hard ass, we've got to see. Kiss ass one here. Who are you people? Why are you attacking us? You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the Deluge? I ain't never heard of no Dorseys. You're more ignorant than I thought. Alright, kiss ass. So we can either kiss ass and let her live or we can attack her. So we're going to try kiss ass out. Alright, fine. I'm going. So I don't know if that's a percentage thing, like you just have to be at a certain level and it'll definitely work. I'm telling my cousin to be. Or whether sometimes that would fail and she would attack us, I don't know. Saved my... Life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. No worries. <laughs> Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Right, so we we're gonna have to fight them anyway. Thanks. You guys are lifesavers. Any other survivors from the squad? Not likely. Most of them burned with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and... Wait. And what? Oh. Major Tom. <laughs> you have to click to get the next bit. Might have made Sometimes it. I forget. Some take off like a 
bat out of hell after we wrecked. Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked. Well, he sounds like a pussy to me. You just run off. These might get his attention. Like a cigarette, okay. Who's Major Tom? Brassard is our major. <laughs> Major's just his nickname. Mm, okay. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Yeah, let's get moving. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Oh, yeah, you stay here, yeah, yeah. Be careful. Ah, shotgun shells, nice. Four shotgun shells, okay. I need to be aware that I don't have a lot of ammo for that. Eh, uh, a lot of loot goblin in. Ah, shotgun shells, nice. Med hypo. We used to restore 50% con. Con must be health then, is it? Coupon reads. Free haircut set. Radcut barber shop. Let our nuclear powered robot barber give you the ultimate trim for free. Valid for new customers only. Survivors will be charged full price on future visits. Warning prolonged exposure to robo barber may cause hair loss. <laughs> okay. And a tape from Jody Sparks. Okay, so this is, I'm pretty, I may be wrong here, but I don't think Wasteland 2 was, had voice actors in it. I think it was all, you have to read everything, which I don't really like, to be honest. Um, I skim over a lot of stuff and end up missing information. Like that in a game, if that was a letter that we'd found saying goodbye from the folks, I wouldn't have read it. Wake up, cousins! More Hotlanders coming! Yep, yeah, she's warned them. Guess we better finish off the rest of them. Bust up, cuz. Don't let them get the drop on us. Shit, so I wonder whether we could have rescued them. If we hadn't won them, we were coming. And now they're all ready to fight. I don't know. Tyrion's shotgun, it's loaded again. Okay. Lance. Pull up here. Ah, uh, Tyrion. Pull back here. Okay, so we can shoot the oil tank. Don't know what the area effect is on it. Oh, I can just get a 98 on. Take a low stance to gain improved hit chance, evasion, and detection time. You'll automatically stand up if you're right. Screw it. Out of range. Just. Yeah, that was worth it. So that, even though that was out of combat, taking cover, yeah. Quick take cover, protect your enemy, yeah. Two chances, low and high cover, yeah, basic. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Protects you from the enemy and improves your weapon's hit chance, okay. Flanking. Yeah, move around the flank, okay. So yeah, so even though that was out of combat, took my action points 
I'm not sure whether that's acting as cover. Hmm. Don't think he's in cover there. Which is annoying. That's why I put him next to that fucking tree stump. Tyrion, can you take this guy out? How much damage did you do? You do 11 to 16. No, okay, so you're not going to be able to take him out. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare. If I prepare, you carry over two unused AP. Which would give me... 9. Which means I could move 3. Hmm. We'll set up an ambush with Tyrion in case they push us. He is in cover there, isn't he? Yeah. He was leaning against it. I'm going to take that as him being in cover. Take a shot. Okay, the fire's gone out. Should be able to... Kill him. And him, nice. health has he got? He's got 19. i move there. Hmm? How can I shoot if... It... That doesn't make sense then. That's in... I'm in blue, so if I move there, I use five action points. I'll only have two left. Oh, it's because I... I've got my... I've got my shotgun equipped. But I'll be able to hit him for one shot. And I can do 16 damage and... He's got. It's not showing me. I think we'll just go out ambush again. Go out ambush. Let's the take these guys out on this flank. Oops. Nice. Strikes. Your strike meter is full. You charge up your strike meter each time. You make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike. Okay, so weapons. Different weapons have different strikes. A powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. Click the strike button in your quick bar or press F to give it a shot. Ranger is injured. Fortunately, they also equip with med hypos. They can use this to heal themselves. To use one, left click. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's try this. Charge up this ability. With each successful attack, target a specific area. Okay, so we've only got one guy left. And we are out of ammo. <laughs> Good. Cool. <laughs> so we'll have to try that next turn. Uh, gonna prepare with him. He needs to get a bit closer. Oh shit, he's nearly dead. But I can do this now. Right, cool. So, body, 5 to 6 damage. Deals 35% bonus damage and reduces their armor at 75. I don't think this guy's got any armor on. Uh, okay, 6 to 8 damage, so she does more in the head. Plus 25 bonus damage. 50% chance steals 175% plus arms. Okay, reduces the target's hit chance by 25%. Inflicts bleeding on the target and reduces their speed. Okay, well, I'm just going to go with the headshots. We just need to kill him. Nice. Through to 
far side of the dam. Now it looks like I can get up behind those yahoos on the top and take them unawares. Let me know when you're in position and we'll... <gasps> Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Yeah, so not the smoothest of um, first battles, but like I said, I'm not anything special with these uh, kind of games. Just trying to enjoy them. Hot Wheels car, okay. Ammo. Two different types of rifle ammo. Uh, sniper ammo. Spikes. Uh, hostage shaker's key. One key taken from the body of statistic Darcy Raider, okay. Med kit, injury kit. Uh, remove the injuries of a target. Okay, so. Better med kit, I think. Burned book is unreadable. So, most of this stuff just seems like junk that we're going to be able to sell at some point. Not much to see, just dead bodies. Oh, we should probably heal this guy. Yeah, so see the, um, what's it called, little picture down here for him. See how I was having trouble in the character screen. I think it's a little bit bugged out, that character, because it did it when I created it last time. You can't actually select which one you want. But on your secondary character, you can. That's the one we selected. That isn't. And that was the same when I created him before. Oh, use hostage shaker's key, yep. Grenade box. Yeah, boy. Fluted an item upgrade. Click the inventory button on the HUD screen and equip your new gear. Okay. Upgrading your gear. Let's equip your new gear. Choose a ranger by selecting their portrait near the top of the inventory screen. And left click and drag the item. So is that the grenade that we just got? Give a grenade, where is it? There. Give a grenade to Tibia. And Lance. You can take. You can take a grenade as well. Although I kind of want to throw this at someone. <laughs> Yellow snowball. Or a, a target character to leave them wondering when their life turned wrong. <laughs> we'll try to do that. Yeah, that's pretty gruesome, guys up here. Oh sh! Oh, that landed right on Tyrion's head. Game saved, yeah, I need to remember to be saving this game because I've got a feeling some of the combat is going to be tricky. Look out, there's a big ass robot head. Luckily it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range, go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spots you. However, we cannot stress enough how badly that robot will fuck you up right now. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, so we've got a light machine gun to it and a robot. Um, computer display reads Aegis, Aegis Automated Defense Network. Status ready. Enter command. Um, disable defenses. Authorization required. Okay, does that work then? Does it shut them down? Or not? Okay, so it looks like it's shut the turret down. But not the robot that will fuck us up.
lock picking. I knew that was a good skill to go for. First off. Hidden objects and perception. Wow. What was that? Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat. Right, that indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objects. Right, so that's what perception is for. Armor crate. Get me some armor or scout armor. Plus three, okay. Get that equipped. Um. Tyrion's already got six armor, so we'll give that to Lance. Looking good, my man. Disarm. Is that what we just found with the deception? So if we hadn't had any perception stat in, we would have just got blown up by that. Can we take it with us? No? Okay. Glass knuckles. Cool, okay. Happy with that. Might equip them. Give them a little Tibian. Don't call him little. He just like being called little. It's compact. Quite his power. Wow. Not, not the most difficult puzzle I've solved in the game. Okay, we're coming, we're coming. Okay, so what's this do? It's almost certainly beer. Drink to gain plus 25. Melee damage for 36 turns, but suffer minus 2 action points for 60 turns afterwards. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm not sure whether that's worth... Oh, large container. I'm not sure whether that's worth drinking. Seems like a hefty penalty. Rabbit's paw. Critical chance, plus 3. Okay. Sign up sheet. Sign up for the Chicken Fight Battle Royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Sign-ups available now for our premium club members. Please note, participants will also need to sign the wrongful death waiver sheet. <laughs> okay. So, we got a rabbit's paw there, didn't we? Where does that go? Mods, mission items, armor. All items. Okay. Give that to Lance. Plus three crit, crit chance. Okay, so maybe I'm always not going to be too scarce. Saying that though, we haven't picked up any more. How many shotgun rounds do we have? Ten. Okay, it's not too bad. We've got fifty rounds for the assault rifle. Medical supplies, nitro spike, what's that? Incapacitated party members don't need to stay down, all they need is a spike, a friend, and a quick stab in the heart. Nice. Okay, so that could revive people when they're downed. Ammo again. Don't know what weapon fires those spikes though. How many medkits have we got? Do you think we should heal him fully up? Let's do it, because we've got a feeling we're going into a bit of a scrap here. <laughs> On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. You open the door. And spit untactically into the middle of the fighting area. Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. 
Well, the fun's just starting, buddy. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like that you can hear the clanking. The is gonna be sorry he stayed home. And he loves him some entrails. Armor. Uh, melee combat too, no. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save you. Oh. Noise. Holy shit. They gonna kill Jared. <sighs> Never nice shot. Up. Heads up, Rangers. More. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be a pain to take out. <laughs> Alright, okay. So do can we control her or no? No? Right. Oh yeah, I like the tune. Is he out of I don't know if that's gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. Oh man, it would be so cool if there was tunes like this in all the big battles. I don't know if it's a thing or not. That's gonna get him up there. I don't think it is, is it? Okay, Tyrion, move on here, full cover. I'm loving this tune being on. Set up an ambush in case we get pushed. Shit, he's got a launcher. Come on, Tyrion, shoot him. We had an ambush set. Come out here. I wonder if he hasn't got any rounds in his. Does he need to reload this? Oh, he needs to reload, that's why. Okay, reload. Tyrion. Hmm. Right, so he's on fire over there. She's they're gonna concentrate on her, it's just this one guy left. But can you pick stuff up in combat? Can you loot in combat? You can? Obviously it wasn't very useful there. But if you knew someone who dropped something that you need, that's pretty good. 
Okay, um, prepare. I like that prepare option as well, being able to carry over action points. So he can, this is a bit annoying, he can move, right, watch this, he can move up here, I'm pretty confident we've won this fight here, but he can move up there, shoot at him, and I was on 27% chance of hitting. How? Missed, shock. Okay, didn't shoot at Tyrion, kind of good. Oh, oh shit, where did he come from? What happened to him? Where did he come from? Try to save some ammo. Missed, oh my god. What have we done? <laughs> okay, how many he's got? He's got 19 left. Let's just shoot him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We've made a meal out of this, haven't we? Come on. Jesus. Leveling up. Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up guns them extra. Constitution con. That's the health, isn't it? So when I realised con was health, I thought it would be condition, but and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills. At later levels they'll soon they'll also gain additional attribute points to upgrade your skills. Use K, okay. Pretty straightforward leveling up system I'm anticipating it's just gonna be leveling up what we've already given them. Requiring skill points. So we've got three skill points. Leveling up rewards each character with skill points that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. It only costs a single skill point to increase skill early on, but this cost goes up at higher levels. Upgrade a skill by left-clicking on the one you want to increase. Right, so... Mm, so, so far the explosives was good to give to him because he was able to defuse that mine. Leadership, I haven't really looked at that. But obviously that's good. that that says it gives out buffs to nearby allies. So it's probably good to have one person in your squad as set as the leader. Oh it might oh my weapons. Um what have we needed so far that we haven't had? Sneaky shit. I'd rather ha Tyrion had that. Um, maybe we should just keep working up these. Give it all, Mike Weapons another one. And then go to Tyrion. Tyrion. S small arms. Now, it is. A shotgun classed as a small arm. It's got to be, hasn't it? Pump shotgun, yeah. We'll give him one in that then. Because he's going to be carrying on shotgun. 
Look what we could do with him actually hitting things. May as well give him two in shotgun. Um, and then we will give him another another lock picking. Okay. Veterans Ranger Star. And muscle tissue. Yeah, we picked up a few of these. I don't know what they're. I'm assuming we can just sell them to someone. Maybe this is a cannibal crew or something that might be it might be helpful with. And a rocket, rocket launcher. Oh, we picked up their rocket launcher. Nice. And a rocket. Okay, so now we got a rocket launcher. Maybe Tyrion should carry the rocket launcher around. Uh, anything else around here? Get the med box. We're gonna need the meds. Oh, it's fully healed us actually. Do we fully heal after combat? How's it going down there? Major Prasad's breath steams from her clenched teeth. The gutter spilling through her bloody fingers. First aid one. It's clear to you she's in shock. It's incredible she'll nice see she's Finishing still conscious. Crew, did you find any other survivors? And uh, yes, Private Bell should be here soon. You better be. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. Now, she closes her eyes, grimacing, then fumbles in her knapsack. <laughs> Orders from Ranger Command. All over the paperwork. We need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. Secret orders? Secret orders? Who else knows about that? Only me. Got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. What do you know about this Patriarch? N not much yet. I don't He's trust the boss him. Of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Uh, I don't want to break this here, but I think we may have already messed it up. Who is Angela Death? Part of the Ranger squad that took down Base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's... It was still alive. Okay, so I wonder if that's something from the previous two games. Almost died on a mission in California, but but she found her way home. I can't can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me I a have no training fool. Catch my breath, and we can go. Okay, just how bad do you think your wounds are, Major? Oh. She tightens grip on her side, holding her guts in, but she doesn't look it down. It doesn't matter how bad my wounds are. We can't stay here. Well, I need to... What, so I can kill her? No, help her up. As you pull her up, her shaky smile becomes an agonized grimace. You look down, the intestines have slumped out of her tumbling to the snow. She did! Okay, she's dead. Take her stuff. Armor, nice. Expert pipes. 
music. Oh, she was in the band. Oh, not even a proper soldier. Okay, so we've got some armor, an army rifle, nice, and some armor. Let's equip that armor. Um, Tivian. Give the leg armor to Lance. So Tivian should. Tivian's got nine armor now. Lance has got four. Yep. Yeah. Alright, okay, I think I'm um, gonna have to call it day pretty much here before we move on from here. I'll have a quick look about, see what's around here. What's this? Rhino. Uh, an odd looking syringe full of if yellow liquid. Used to, f used to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Game plus 8 armor for 36 turns, but suffered minus 10. Evasion for 720 turns. What? Okay, so I think things like this are going to be like used for very specific missions, I would say. Okay, yeah. Cat, can we talk to. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Major Tom. <laughs> I wasn't wrong when I said he was a pussy for running away. <laughs> Deception, hiss. You get close to the cat as a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed with Tom. Take out the cigarettes. Okay, so now we've got a cat. Can we talk to him? Yeah, so we can dismiss him. Or we can give him a scratch. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave it there with Major Tomcat. Uh, pick it up from here next time. <laughs> Enjoying the game so far, much more than I, the last one. Yeah, uh, see how it goes. I think the combat's going to be pretty challenging. As you can see, I'm not the best. You know, I'll make a lot of mistakes as we go through. A little bit of saves coming. Um, definitely going to be a feature. But yeah, we'll see, see where it goes. See um, see where it takes us. But hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and um, hopefully I'll catch you next time. And try to get another episode up uh, next couple of days. See ya.